section. Good morning children. Today for English we're going to carry on thinking about room on the broom. Now you've done a really good job so far of creating your own characters with fantastic adjectives and thinking about a setting for those characters to be in. Now today we're going to write the next part of the story. We're going to do this over two days. So we're going to start by thinking about what the witch loses because in the story she keeps losing different things and she has to fly down. Remember she says down cried the witch and they flew to the ground and then they search for whatever she's lost and the character comes out and gives it to her and then joins on the broom. So we need to think of something else that the witch could have lost for her to meet your new character and we're going to try and write that part today. So for example, if we look here, but how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly, it blew off her hat. So she first loses her hat and the dog brings it back to her. And then the witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her long ginger plait. So that's the next thing that she loses. It blows out and she flies down and the green bird comes and brings it to her. So I want you to have a look at the picture and think about what else could the witch lose? So I had a look, I thought she's got a sparkly green brooch. She could lose one of her boots. She's got a cauldron. She's got a cloak. So there's lots of different things that the witch could lose. You could choose something from the picture or you could imagine that she has something else maybe hiding inside her cloak or in a pocket or something like that. Now I had a look and I decided that she was going to lose her long black cloak because I thought that's something that could easily fly off in the wind. And I didn't just want to say cloak, I wanted to say long black cloak because we've been thinking about adjectives. So I'm going to say that the witch let go of her cauldron. No, I'm not going to say she held on to her cauldron, but that her long black cloak flew away. So that's how I'm going to write the next part of the story. So we're going to write some sentences. Remember... We think of our sentence, we say it out loud, we write it down and then we check it by reading it back. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first sentence that we're going to write, I would like you to write about what the witch is flying through. So thinking about the setting using an adjective. So I've thought of a sentence and I'm going to write the witch flew through the stormy wind. The witch flew through the stormy wind. So I'm going to pick up my green to write the a nice tall letter. The. And then I need my green again because the character's name is witch, isn't it? She doesn't have another name. The witch. Flew, and the oo sound is e w. The witch flew through. It's another oo sound, but it's a different one. It's quite a tricky one. It's got four letters in it. Through the witch flew through the st or. Stormy wind. wind. Okay, I need to pop a full stop on. Remember, it sits on the line and it's only small. Now I need to check it. The witch flew through the stormy wind. Now I'm going to think of my next sentence. Right, I want to say that she held on to the cauldron but the wind blew away her long black cloak. So green again, because it's a new sentence. She, she held on to a cauldron. That's quite a long word. Old, old, on, cold. 
children. Okay. Old cauldron. She held on to her cauldron, but the wind blew away her. I'm going to add my adjectives in now. Long. Black cloak. Oak. And finish with a full stop. Now I just need to check it. She held on to her cauldron, but the wind blew away her long black cloak. So I've thought of my sentences, I've said them. I've written them down and I've checked them and I'm happy. So today we want you to have a go at writing this part of the story. So the first thing is you need to have a good think about what you want the witch to have lost. If you need to go back to the story again, remember in the announcements, in the messages, you can watch Miss Gundry read in the story again. Have a look at the picture and choose what you want her to lose. Then you need to think of two sentences. You can think of more if you want, but two's fine. The first sentence says what the witch is flying through, a little bit of the setting description, and the second sentence says what she loses. So that's what we'd like you to have a go at today. We're really impressed with your writing so far, so keep it up and we can't wait to see what you do. Bye-bye. <laughs>